Today we're going to talk about postpartum shedding and protective styling. Hey, it's Fair Sue, and today is wash day. I have been doing a week of protective styles. I have worn it half up, half down. I've worn it a high bun. I've just really been trying to manipulate it as little as possible because I am still having the postpartum shedding. Um, it is significant. I just, you know, my hair is falling out. Like if I do like this, there's there's hairs. Um, don't know if you can see all this, but yeah. It's uh, just every single, oops. It's just like every single section of hair I can pull out of oh, like maybe 10 strands. And so that to me is a lot because my hair didn't used to shed that much. Um, and I know that it is right now. It's just like a hormonal thing. My body is getting used to not being pregnant. And so without all those hormones in my system, my hair is now shedding all of the hairs that would have shed while I was pregnant, but couldn't because of the hormones. See, it's just like a cycle. But this to me, it's just like the worst. Um, but I'm loving my hair through the process. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna normalize and get back to normal. Um, taking my prenatal vitamins. I am taking the gelatin with my coffee every day because I have found, like I don't know why it works, but it really has helped my breast milk supply. It just be really good. I don't know if that's something you guys want to talk about too. Like if you guys want to know more about my breast milk um, journey, let me know. I'll make a video. And let's see. So what I'm going to do is apply some oil and then I am going to apply some deep conditioner. And then I will be sitting under a cap for 30 minutes to one hour. I'm gonna catch up on the episode of Real Housewives of Potomac that I did not get to watch in its totality last night. And so I will just um, fast forward through the application and everything like that, and then I'll come back. Okay, so the deep conditioner that I've been using is the Mega Moisture Nature Therapy by L'Oreal. This is actually the second tub that I've purchased of this. I don't like to recommend things until I know how my scalp is gonna react to it, how my hair reacts to it, and because of um, postpartum shedding and everything like that, it was just a lot going on. So um, I have been using this every week, and I absolutely love it. Um, I think it was, pretty affordable. Can't remember how much I paid for it, but I would buy it all over again. So what I did was um, I applied the emu oil to my scalp. And then what I'm doing is I'm going to wet my hair because um, you want the conditioner to get into the hairs. And so I'm wetting it and then I'm going to apply the conditioner. And then with the heat from the heat cap, it's gonna help it absorb into my hair. And I can just feel, you know, the oil and the conditioner that's on my hands from what I did on this side. It's helping um, melt those tangles out. It's helping to get rid of the shed hairs because that's the bad thing. Like, shed hairs attract shed hairs. Kind of like split ends make split ends. So what you gotta do is detangle. And so um, I just have to make the time to detangle my hair and get these tangles out because if not, it's just gonna make the matter worse. And so on top of the regular shedding that I would normally have, plus the postpartum shedding, you know, you can make your hair shed more. You can do things or the lack of actions as well can cause damage. So not detangling your hair can make detangling harder, can make it worse, can make you lose more hair. So just detangle. All right, so I'm just applying this to my hairs. I don't believe in putting conditioner at the scalp because I just don't think it belongs there. To me, conditioner belongs on the hair length and oils belong on the scalp. That is my opinion. I can't say it's a fact, but that's what has really worked for me and my hair. Absolutely loves this method. 
So I'm just not even being shy. I'm just going in and getting like tons of this conditioner because, I mean, you know, when you see your hair coming out in clumps, you know, you want to just give it every opportunity to be healthy. And if you look at the palms of my hands, you can see the shed hair is just coming down. All right, so I've got it applied. And so now what I'm gonna do is put on a plastic cap and get underneath my heat cap. Okay, so I'm up under this cap. I got an episode of The Real Housewives of Potomac going on. And uh, I will be up under here for a while and then I will join you after. Okay, so I'm back and my hair is nice and warm and it is nice and conditioned. And, oh man, can already see like the curls are just so happy. And that moisturizing treatment was so, 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 so what my hair needed right now. Okay, so now what happens is I get into the shower and I completely saturate my hair. I will, you know, keep it in the two sections parted down the middle and I will be detangling my hair in the shower. I'm going to be using my fingers for the most part and allowing, you know, the product that's already on it to do the work that it needs to do. And then also, um, depending on how my hair feels after I do the moisturizing treatment, I plan on doing the keratin uh, two minute constructor by Affigy. Um, but you know, I'm not gonna say I'm going to do that. I have to wait and see how my hair feels after it gets um, rinsed out with the moisture. And I will do this based on if my hair feels like squishy or mushy because you never want your hair to feel squishy or mushy or crunchy because that means you need to do a moisture and protein to balance it out. Um, if it's crunchy, moisture. If it's mushy, protein. So if my hair feels mushy, then I will go to the next step and do this two minute reconstructor. But if not, then I'll just keep it moving and get out and come back for styling. Yay. Okay. So I didn't overwork my hair while I was in the shower. I simply got in, rinsed it out. I shampooed and then I applied um, some conditioner and then I got out. Like it was really fast and I didn't, like I said, overwork my hair because I don't want to mechanically shed with a brush or comb or, you know, anything like that, more hair. So, um, this is all that was shed this time. Yay. And compared to what I had been shedding, it's just nuts. And then it is shedding and not breakage because I can see the white bulbs in each of the hairs that was shed. So it's getting better, okay? That's the most important thing is that the situation is improving. And now we're gonna move on to styling. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it, but sometimes I just like let my hands start working and the style just comes up. So uh, I'm gonna speed this up because I don't want this video to be like ridiculous amounts of long for no reason. And um, all right, so, oh, Real quick, I've been using this It's a 10 leave-in, so that's probably why I didn't need to do the protein treatment because this has keratin in it, and keratin is protein. And, you know, so that's why I think my hair wasn't mushy once I got into the shower and rinsed out the moisturizing conditioner. All right, so um, I've been using this and, of course, my Liquid Sunshine. And that's pretty much all I'm going to be using to do this style because I don't want um, products in my hair right now. I just need my scalp to just like relax, relate, release and get to its happy place and keep uh, shedding less hairs. Alright, so I'm going to speed this up and I'll join you in a few.
Okay, so I have pulled all of my hair to one side and put it into a two strand twist and then just wrapped that and tucked it in. I don't wanna put any bobby pins in it for right now. If I need to, then I will at a later time. But so now what I'm gonna do is make a flat two strand twist of the hairs that I left out as a bing. And so what I do to start it is I just take my finger and I went up under here and I pulled off this section and I'm gonna split that in two and I'm gonna start a twist. And I'm gonna let this part come down and hang and then I'm gonna grab another piece and cross it over. So pointer finger sticks in, pulls up the next section of hairs and cross it over and then pull it under. It's kind of one of those things I had to practice to get pretty good at. But now that I've done it, it's it's like so easy to me. And then you end up with a really decent looking flat twist. And then I'll just continue this. And it's so nice that this is the result of doing the inversion method that my bangs now, they're so much longer and easier to manage. Um, and tuck back and you know put away for the week like I want to this week so I'm also going to just take this and wrap it around the bun and just tuck it underneath of the um, ponytail holder so I really just don't want to put any bobby pins in it right now okay so this to me is a job well done my hair is clean conditioned detangled and styled. So here's the side, the front, and now the back. And I hope that you guys liked this video. Give me a thumbs up, like, um, and subscribe to my channel because I kind of try to do this once a week. At least that's my goal. And um, it's just hard to sometimes always say stop, make a video, then edit and upload, fill orders, wash bottles, and pumping equipment, you know, mom stuff. So anyways, I hope that you guys will be well. Please uh, give me some comments below, suggested videos that you want to see me do, or things, you know, any questions that you may have. So um, be blessed and take care. I'll see you in the next video.